Handlebar Cash Dash. It's Comics and Shots. A completely improvised, semi-comedic musing by Howard Stern's Mick the Nerd and YouTube and TikTok's Mick the Man. Today's subject, Archie Comics. No, not Sonic Archie this time. Archie as an Archie. You never know how much of a fan you are of something, of anything, until you watch one of the worst adaptations you've ever seen. Weirdly enough, that's not Riverdale. It's you know, probably like the Doctor Strange movie, but Riverdale past season one was pretty stupid. It's bad enough how they totally messed up Jughood. Again, it's like... Yeah, here's an idea. Let's give Jughead a girlfriend. No. No. Uh-uh. No. You can give adult Jughead a wife. But Teen Jughead, the only g women that he was obsessed with were Swiss Miss and Aunt Jemima and Betty Crocker. That's almost an exact quote, too. And, you know, even more importantly, the way back when, when he was written, like in the Golden and Silver Age, it was, you know, they were definitely implying he was gay. You know, it's, it's all there. It's all there. And now in the modern age, many people think that he's not so much gay because he never shows attraction to men either, so they think, you know what? He's ace, and that's great. Pretty much one of the only canonically asexual characters in comic books. And it's from Archie. How'd that happen? <laughs> oh, boy. And, you know, it's like, uh... That it's... Just him... Them giving him not only a girlfriend, but... A girlfriend he has sex with. Because that's also another thing that bugs me in the comics. Like, he could be... A like, or... Actually, he was probably more accurately aromantic. He's Aero Ace, I think, a lot of the modern continuities. But even if you just want to make him Ace... You're going to have him still be attracted to Betty, but not want to have sex with her. And, you know, that's really awkward because he's a teenager and everything. Everybody else's hormones are flooding all over the place, but he's standing still. Also, it would just be nice if one goddamn teenager in that show wasn't going to bone down. I know that the, most of them were all played by adults, but still creepy. <sighs> oh, well. At least you got a better treatment than Dilton Doily. Ugh. How do you go down from stereotypical nerd character and then you make him a hardcore survivalist who somehow keeps getting guns? Is it? No, he's the nerd with the heart of gold that Veronica sleep secretly wants to fuck and watch an issue, specifically one issue. And also made a robot one time. But yeah, they... Ugh. Then at some point, there are wizards. I don't know. And it's not like Archie as a universe is the best. And, you know, Archie as a publisher, they ran themselves into the goddamn ground. Who would have thought just carrying a story about a guy who dated two girls for all eternity wouldn't really hold up as much as, say, like Superman and Batman? It's even more still there because they did have superheroes, but I think they sold them to DC or DC licensed them. I don't know. <sighs> Either way, Archie is an absolute chaotic mess. And well, well, it's not the best thing out there. It still does hold a place in my nerdy heart. Especially you, Jughead, you hamburger-eating fool. <laughs> and Miss Grundy and her husband, Salomon Grundy. Only the real ones will get that reference. With that, like, comment, and subscribe. And donate if you're feeling nice. And always remember, praise be to the blood elk. <sighs> Seriously, Riverdale postseason one just, just got unwatchable. How did it last that long? <laughs>